adults who are undergoing a blood or marrow transplant, it's usually for a malignant condition. And if we look at the data across the country, the number one diagnosis for a transplant is multiple myeloma, uh, which is a blood type, blood and bone type of cancer. Uh, and then patients with other cancers of the bone marrow like leukemias, lymphomas, both Hodgkin's lymphoma and what we call non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Stem cell transplants have really, over the past 20 plus years, have really changed the outlook for many patients. For patients with myeloma, their life expectancy and disease control has tremendously increased. For patients with certain types of leukemias and leukemias in certain stages, it's the only curative treatment for that patient population. So the types of stem cell transplants that we're talking about here are not really embryonic stem cells, but they're adult stem cells that reside in our bodies right now, um, in our bone marrow cavity, and they make our normal blood cells. We have built a program here in, in Grand Rapids that involves a multidisciplinary approach to the patients. It's not just the physicians who take care of the patients, it's our assistants, our transplant coordinators who are all nurses, um, our social worker, pharmacist, the dedicated nurses that we have on our inpatient unit and our outpatient unit, um, who have really helped us build and establish this program. We fully anticipate that we will be able to help 150 to 200 patients a year in Western Michigan um, to undergo these particular types of transplants. There were, before we started, three places or three centers in, in Michigan, in the state of Michigan, to get a, a, either a blood or a marrow transplant. They were all on the east side of the state. So for patients on the west side of the state, they would have to travel to the east side to get their transplants. An example of um, patients who really need to stay in their community, we did have one young man decline a transplant because he couldn't leave his mother and sister who were disabled and go across state for his transplant. Fortunately, um, we had opened up our program and we were able, when his leukemia came back, to transplant him here in the community. And he has done extremely well and is extremely thankful for all uh, that has been done here and allowing him and his family members to stay together. In addition, it's rewarding from a personal standpoint because you're literally taking someone who has a potentially very poor prognosis and giving them life-saving therapy. So you become very close to that patient and their family. So it's very rewarding from that standpoint to develop that bond with the patient and their family.